Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzleforge and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance, where we are back in this little house because, uh, well, I got myself killed, didn't I? Which is kind of kind of regrettable, but you know, what can you do? What? What am I doing there? No, I want to eat from the pot. Eat from the pot. Thank you. Okay. Well, she's not looking. <laughs> Although I think that she did tell us to eat from the pot. Okay, let's pick up all of the bread rolls. These bread rolls are now mine! I don't know what you thought about keeping those bread rolls yourself, but you're not, so... Ooh, look at that. I like the way that you can be in these places and you can see out of the windows. Because usually in games it's like a cell inside the uh, inside the place. And then you go outside and that's, that's like a completely different loading zone. Mind you, that's because I play a lot of Skyrim, or I did. Anyhow. Let's go out there and see the day! Hello there! Oh, hello. Uh, Treasures of the Past DLC activated. That's nice. Okay, I'll read that myself uh, later. Would you just go away? Torment, what's this? Another DLC? Torment convert, uh, con convened by Sir Hanush takes place once every seven days. That's nice. Okay. Go away. <laughs> Thank you. Has she got anything to say? Hello there! You have mud on your chin. Have you eaten? Yes! It was very good! Yes, he says. it was very good. Did you bake it yourself? I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm good with stew. As long as I can add lots and lots and lots of stock. Which is, is, is like cheap. Cheap rubbish stock. <laughs> I don't make my own. I, I don't know how. Well, I sort of know a little bit, but not, not really, so, you know. Wow, this place is amazing! Look at this! Ooh! I do like it in games when you can you can look at the surroundings and it's like amazing, and you you just want to you just want to search everywhere. Unfortunately, so far every place we've searched, we've found very little indeed. All right, let's see if we can talk to the baker guy and see if he wants us to do anything. Hey, baker guy! I'm Henry. Thanks for taking care of me. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me, dear. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter, who yes. came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I bet. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you, Still owe him. Yes, I, I get this. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. <laughs> I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me it's you're a clever theft, lad, isn't it? I might trust you with something you could really make money from. It's theft. Theft. Uh, what do you need me? Uh, uh, can't I pay instead? What would you need from me? Yes. What would you need from me? <laughs> a trifle. Just to take something a from trifle? someone and bring it to someone else. And not yeah. get caught while you're doing it. Uh, I'm not very good at not getting enough. caught. So Except far I got caught doing caught. everything. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's yeah. just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable no. man should touch yeah. you. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. Tell me more! I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on. Tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate, Wojciech, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Mm. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Yeah. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? Sounds easy enough. nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's 
disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? We have been dishonouring the dead since we started. I think I've already heard more than I need to know. <laughs> You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. Hey, I and went for the do it outside. option. To make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up, Digging corpses. up corpses, yes. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. Okay. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. Take care now. Okay. Hmm. Get the dead man's ring for the miller. Get a spade. Did he not give us a sp Oh, wait, he told us where the spade was and I totally wasn't listening. Bother! Why do I never listen to these people? Okay, fine. Uh, let's see where the spade is. Uh, get your things from the trunk. I had hardly anything, if I remember rightly. Okay, mark that. Brilliant. Uh, B is over there. Okay. Are we going in here? Is this the same place? Yes. Trunk? And this looks like the trunk. Open. Wonderful. I have maps. I have apples. I have stuff. Uh, let's take that. Is that taking it? No, that is not taking it. That is taking it. Great. Uh, let's take bread. Oh, just take it all, would you? Alright. We have so much stuff. Hmm, my green t-shirt is a little bit unfriendly and messed up. Let's go those. Uh, noble shoes. I don't know what what things I need, really. Plate cord. What are they? No idea. Red scarf. I'll take the red scarf. We might need some um, meat. So, grabbing this sort of thing might be handy. We'll definitely need those. I need all of the safe juice I can get because I run down that stuff like mad. The shard! What's the shard? Huh. I don't know. Does 43 damage. It's good! I want that! Okay, uh, the, the trousers. Warhorse Gamberson. Whatever. <laughs> I'll take a rubbishy torch. Uh, we're at 45 points. Let's see. Okay, let's get out of this and look in our inventory. And start wearing stuff, because currently we look as if we're in nightwear. Okay, let's put those on. Put the gloves on. Hunter's gloves. Ah, interesting. What are those? What are those? Oh, are they like elbow protection? How interesting. Okay, a scarf. I'm still not looking very armoured. I'm, I'm, I I'm. noticed this. Those are a little bit better than what I was wearing. Ah, and that. There we go. We sort of, sort of look okay. We're not actually protected much. I mean, this protects us quite well. Warhorse Gamberson. That seems okay, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, and we'll need this. There we go. We now have our weapon. So, we're looking pretty okay at the moment. Our nourishment is 51, so we could do with eating some more. Let's have the bread. Is, did that eat the bread? I don't know. Eat bread! And eat more bread. And keep eating bread. 72, okay. Uh, there's more bread! Okay, 89%. I might get too full if I'm not careful. This is losing its um, its percentage of health pretty quickly, so I don't know how well that's going to last. As for the bread, that seems to last for ages, so we're, we're all right with that. Uh, door keys. I have foot wraps. Oh, they're on. They're all on. Okay, fair enough. Right. In that case, I think we can get on our way, can't we? I'll keep the bread in there and such because I might use it later. Ooh, I can wash up. Hey! Hmm. All right. Well washed. Now what? Uh, there's a bed over there for saving, which I should do in time. But I need a shovel. 
Oh, he totally told me where there was a shovel. I can't believe I just didn't actually take any notice. Mm. I'm going to have a look around for a shovel. And then, once I've searched the place for a shovel, I shall see you with a shovel. Alternatively, I will have absolutely no idea where the shovel is and end up going this way anyway. So, yes, let's mark this location. That's the, the place that we need to be. But there's also uh, go to Perkstein to see Sir Radzig as well. What's this over here? New DLC quest, which I'm not going to do because that's a DLC quest, not actually what I'm doing. Right, brilliant. Okay, I could do with a horse, but, you know, I think that uh, my success at getting a horse is just non-existent. And, as I couldn't even get a shovel, uh, I'm, I'm not doing a, a great job of that at the moment. We'll have to just nick a shovel on our way, perhaps. Ooh, what's all this? Is that part of the farm? Hmm, this looks like somebody else's farm. Hello? Hi! The tanner! Interesting. I don't need to be tanned, thank you. Uh, what's this? Is this how they keep their hay? Hmm, interesting. Some sort of camp over here. I've got to be a bit careful because every single time I go into some random place, I have a tendency to find some guard guarding it, and soon I'm dead. So, you know, I don't want to die that quick. I have just saved, just to make sure. Wow. This is so amazing. I, I should have played this way ago. Hey! Hello, townswoman. Is this is this illegal? Is is this is is this illegal? I can't tell. Baths. You discovered the baths. Hello there, bath house proprietor. And bath maid. Ooh, you are named, so that means that you're a quest giver or Good something. Day to you. Hello there. What do you need? Um. Uh, about Rete. Right. What kind of lord is Hanush? Or how's life in Rate? Or how do you how do the Rate folk get on with the refugees? Or have you heard anything about those Cumans? Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Don't talk to me about that fucking rabble. A soldier was saying in the alehouse that barbarians impale people on spikes, rape women. They hold nothing sacred. The filthy heathens. Hmm. Okay, what kind of lord is Hanush? What kind of governor is Sir Hanush? Hanush. Sir Hanush is a good lord. Things won't she be the same Hanush. when that wastrel Sir Hans takes over. That will be a sorry day. Okay. Uh, how's life in Ratai? What's life like in Ratai? Rattai. Life is good here. Even better if them damn refugees would only vanish. Okay, so she's not fond of the refugees. So there's no point in me asking about that one. Okay, Bye. end dialogue. Goodbye. Have you got a shovel? Uh, I probably shouldn't go into the random house without uh, you know, permission. They don't apparently care if I go in here, though. <laughs> Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, Ooh, look at that. It's a little wooden thing over the... No, I'm getting excited over every single little detail because... All of the little details! I mean, wow! Okay, now we're headed that way. I wonder if we can talk to the um, executioner before we do the uh, the grabbing of the stuff. This is so cool! I really do wish I had a horse, though, because that would make this so much easier. Hmm. And it's not going to make my escape very easy if uh, if I'm trying to escape and I haven't got a horse, right? Hmm. What's this? Ugh! What? It's like two feet. Yeah. Complainer. <laughs> okay. Sort of. Uh, I guess this is like just crop places. Hmm. That looks like a scarecrow of some variety. Like the cheapest scarecrow you can get. <laughs> okay, we'll head up the actual stairs then, instead of falling down two feet. Oh, hello, doggy! Is that log really all that interesting? Really stare at that log. <laughs> 
It's important. Is that a squirrel? No. I'm sure I saw something move then. Ooh, look. It's an axe. Yeah. Why can't I get the free axe? No. Okay. Am I going the right way? I always feel like I'm going the wrong way. Okay, we, yeah, we just need to get through the woods and then we're at the right place. And I so reckon I should talk to the uh, the executioner first before I try and rob the grave in front of his house. After all, I'm really bad at sneaking, so, you know, maybe he'll be in on it, you know? I don't know. I know one thing. I'm not going to climb that. Okay. <laughs> background wow oh there's so lovely paths and the sun's pretty and uh, everything's just so nice apart from all of the times I die because you know I die virtually everywhere mm. now then see we should be sneaking sneak 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 this is a toilet yeah. I wonder if there's a shovel around the toilet. No. You can take a dump there. Lovely. <laughs> I don't look suspicious. Nothing suspicious about me. Well, there's the dog. Ah, okay. Well, the dog should be able to detect us in, like, moments. But where am I going to get a shovel? Hey, piggy. Piggy. Hi. You do, you do not appear to be pleased with... Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, okay, 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 okay. Right. We need another method. Let's go around this way. Hmm. There seems to be an overturned cart over there. Maybe that's got a shovel. Oh, wait, no. That's not an overturned cart. That's one of those. What is that? Oh. That would be the, um... The place. And all this, this is probably the dig spot then, isn't it? You've discovered Gallo Hills! Well, that's not a very successful burial, is it? If the, if the bones are on the surface. Okay, cool. So I've discovered the gallows. Nice! Not the sort of place you really want to be. Oh! It's still wet with the blood of the last victim. Huh. And yeah, and the head, the head chopping area. Uh, Lovely. Ah, what? Where am I to get a shovel from? Hey, um, could you lend me a shovel? <laughs> I think that the only way in is potentially that back way. Oh, there's a shovel right next to the door. I am stealing this. Stealing. The theft is is real. Done. Ah. Yes, get a spade. I have done this. Now off to the gallows. You did say it was right next to the gallows, right? So if it's right next, it's probably that that spot that I was looking at. Hmm. Where where are we here? And why do I not have to bother with the dogs and everything? I I was told to be very careful with the dogs and such. It really does look like this spot, doesn't it? I mean, this is the most obvious spot. Start digging. I'm so going to get captured doing this. Oh, look! Ooh. <laughs> okay. Let's rob the corpse. Christ, wounds. What a fucking... Nothing on the left hand. The right? Oh, shit. There's nothing there either. Where the fuck is that ring? He stole it! Oh, a stench makes me want to puke. Come I on! I pay for this. You know that he stole it. I should totally bury that back again. Can I not bury that back again? No, no. All right. Well, it's night time, so... Hmm. Interesting. Right. So we've got to get into that place and actually manage this. How are we going to do that? I mean, he's going to have kept the, the ring, like, on his nightstand or something, isn't it? It's going to be somewhere close to him. Doggy! Oh, I wish I could play with the dogs. Okay, uh... We could do with having... The meat! So that we can throw the meat foot down for him. Okay. 
Uh, so I'll get a bit further in. No, that's the map. Hang on, wait a minute. Am I to go right back again? Go back to... Are you kidding me? Nah. It's so obviously in the place. Why would I go back? Okay. Well, evidently, we have to go back. So that we can be told to not be stupid and go into the place and get the thing. Which is blatantly obvious to get. So, okay. We'll do this. And then we'll see what happens. I so could do with the horse. But this, these, these routes are so incredibly awesome. I mean, they've gone to such lengths to actually make every bit of the path look really path-like uh, and not just like just randomly placed stuff. Can I go down the hill? Uh, that's probably going to kill me, isn't it? I don't want to die horribly for no good reason. I want to die horribly because I, I did something dumb. And I'm not going to do something dumb there. It's too obvious. <laughs> okay. So, where did I join in? Ah, yes, at this random house that I probably shouldn't have been poking around. I remember. Uh, I've passed it, haven't I? I've passed it, I'm going up. This is no good. Hmm, you have discovered Rate! No, I haven't. I was there already. How could I have discovered it when I was there? Alright, let's go this way then. Ah! Just go down the hill. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Don't fall. Good. Excellent. What's this? Wood. Wood seems to be needed for everything. So, you know, I would have thought that they'd have guarded their wood a little bit better. I like that they've even put um, grass down the middle of the path. Because, obviously, you'd have cartwheels on both sides. And, uh, and the centre wouldn't be quite as, uh, as covered. So you've got the little things. It's done so well. Uh. <laughs> yes, I will go on about how awesome it is, because it's amazing! Oh, hello, we've got a pot there. Hmm, I'm probably full anyway. I mean, I had a meal before I came out. We're not far now! Back to the place. Crikey. I'm going to have to do a lot of exploring off camera at some stage. At the moment, I've been I've been following the story all the way. So because I've been following the story, it's just been like I'll just I'll just do everything on on camera. But uh, now I'm very tempted to have a bit of an explore. Anyway, we'll get back to there. We're back to the mill. Great. Now we need to talk to this guy, who will no doubt tell us to go back and have a check of the place because that's the most obvious thing to do. Hello there, sir. God be with you. Thank you. And you. Uh, there was no ring there. There was a corpse in the grave, but no ring. What the fuck is going on? Easy, Hal. Hold your horses. If the ring wasn't on the corpse, the executioner must have taken it before he buried the body. Of course he did. see where this is going. Yeah. You want me to get the ring from the executioner? Clever lad. Only I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it. He's a bit touchy on the subject of robbing the dead. Yeah. It'd be better to pinch it from his house. Indeed. I'll do it. All right, I'll go and find that ring. It's good to have a challenge, it should be right? Trunk somewhere in the house. Mm. And look here, Henry. Do you know how to get past a lock? Get past the lock? No. You mean jemmy it off with a crowbar? No, you don't. <laughs> I mean the delicate, gentle art of opening it quietly and no. with sensitivity, like popping a young maiden's cherry. Uh, I can pick a lock. No, I can't pick a lock. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to try that yet. No, I haven't. Fucking hell. How did I get landed with a cretin like you? <laughs> I'll have to teach you then. Come with me. Good All right. Yay, we're learning how to pick locks. I am going to be terrible at this. We all know I'm going to be terrible at this. Unlock this trunk. Okay. Eee! Hold the lock with your right hand and use it to feel out the tumble. With your left hand, you hold the blade it to turn the whole mechanism. Do we? It's quite easy. It only takes a bit of practice. Really? Now try poking around in the lock pick until you feel the right point where the tumble is. Uh, right. Hey, oh, look. Well, hang on, what? Don't we just right go in. like that? Good. Now turn the whole lock with the blade, but don't stop holding the tumble pick. 
Otherwise, you'll be fucked and you'll have to start all over again. Oh, lovely. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> uh-huh. Well, um, yeah. Oh, rotate the lock is D. D. D? It's not doing anything. It's not doing anything. Hmm. This this could take some time. <laughs> Let's try T for help. All right. So, in order to pick locks, you must have at least one lock pick in your inventory. Although it's better to have one or two spares, since they get worn with use and, in the worst case, can break. You start the actual lock picking process by holding E on the lock. Oh, I didn't do that. You will then see a diagram of the lock mechanism. Oh, right, I did do that, okay. In which you have to find the right spot to insert the lock pick. All right, interesting. They, uh, then you have to use the lock pick, great, to turn the whole lock mechanism. At the same time, you have to coordinate the movement of the lock pick with the rotation of the mechanism because the rotation shifts the position of the sweet spot. There's a sweet spot? Oh, I'm so going to fail this. Uh, how close you are to the sweet spot is indicated by the size of the cursor and it turns gold when you find it. Okay. Now, I did see it do that, didn't I? Hmm. If you try to turn the mechanism without having the lockpick in the correct position, the mechanism will stick, which will damage the lockpick or even break it. Any damage to the lockpick will produce a noise which can draw unwanted attention, and breaking it will cause an even louder noise. Okay, so... Ah, the sweet spot is here, right? So, sweet spot and then... D? Oh, heck. Uh, oh, bother, 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 bother. You forced him and broke the lock pick. That crack could be heard in Kudenberg. You have to watch out for that. An mm. experienced guard will recognize the sound at once. Great. <laughs> okay, so the lock's going to turn that way. And as such, I just need to... I just need to be careful. Which, evidently, I'm not. Okay. No. Okay. Can I? Oh, I can't take my finger off the D button because if I take my finger off the D button, it just like stops. Let me. I'm gonna have to turn the sensitivity down on my mouse, I think, because this is way too difficult. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I might be able to make it. You're a damn hand oh, I did. No, I'm not. Make that was rubbish. Yeah. Remember, this trunk's only. Yeah, is it full of stuff? Yeah, oh it is! It's full of save juice. Give me that. I didn't steal the save juice. I totally didn't see it. It's really dark around here. Maybe I should wait till morning. Hmm. Okay, so we're going back into the house to get some sleep. And I don't know how, how I'm doing with food. How's my nourishment? 79 is pretty good. That is now poisonous, so I'm not eating the roast duck. Maybe we can feed it to the dogs. Yeah. I don't want to poison the dogs, though. I, that's just not me. Okay, we're now 96% nourished. I could do with a um, a water pouch so that I can actually get some water and not, like, just eat food and never drink. You know, because usually drinking is a helpful thing. I don't know if being around at night is going to be more useful than being in the day, but how am I supposed to get there to begin with? Ha! Huh. We shall have to see, but we shall have to see in the next episode, because I'm all out of time. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.